this year's Super Bowl had a record viewing audience. Why? The teams? Nope. Taylor Swift? Travis Kelsey? Nope. Gambling. America has become a nation of gamblers. Gambling increases when people cannot see patience and hard work paying off in the future. We can chalk it up to greed, sure, but also we cannot deny the reality of what happens when people lose hope. Since COVID, there has been an acceleration in FOMO and YOLO. Desperation and hopelessness are eating away at people, and many are not even aware. We see this in the rise of people's willingness to engage in risk. We see this in the rise of gambling. Once hope is lost, the gambler's mindset takes over. So what if they lose a little money on a 100 to 1 odds bet? The alternative is a life of debt and financial pressure. Now remember, money is spiritual. This trend is happening because the value of money is dropping, making it harder for folks like you and I, regular folks, to get ahead financially. People are losing hope and turning to gambling and speculation as a way to feel like they have some control over their situation, even though it's risky. Now, to fix this, either the government needs to step in and stop money from losing value so quickly, keep waiting on that, or they must find other ways to protect their money from losing its worth. Malachi chapter 3 says, Bring your full tithe to the temple treasury, so there will be ample provisions in my temple. Test me in this, and see if I don't open up heaven itself to you, and pour out blessings beyond your wildest dreams. For my part, I will defend you against thieves and plunderers and inflation. I will protect your wheat fields and vegetable gardens against plunderers. I will protect your productivity. This is the message of the God of the angel armies. We must understand that tithing has an insulating, protecting, preserving, multiplying effect on your money and on your life. Genesis chapter 28, it says, Then Jacob made a promise. He said, If God will be with me, and if he will protect me on this trip, and if he gives me food to eat and clothes to wear, and if I return in peace to my father's house, if he does all these things, then the Lord will be my God. I am setting this stone up as a memorial stone. It will show that this is a holy place for God, and I will give God one-tenth of all that he gives. Do you see the connection between the tithe, provision, and protection? Tithing is not gambling. Tithing is not hoping. Tithing is a result of having hope. Tithing is a positive act of faith. Romans 15 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope.